Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this episode is about books. So yet again, I love reading and I love making videos and texts about book recommendations. This particular one is about technological books. I have a couple of recommendations. Everything will be put in the list in the end. I give the link below in the description and here we go. So first of all, uh, technology is everywhere right now. As you can see, it's, uh, we all use smartphones. Internet is everywhere, uh, emails, different kind of communicators, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, the, the, the thing you're watching right now, uh, it's really in our lives, it changed our lives completely. Uh, just if you compare right now with 10 years ago, it's completely different. And it's really great to understand what's going behind it. And for that, I have a couple of recommendations both from a uh, personal perspective because you, you should read a couple of biographies of people who actually made the change along the way a couple of business books a couple of books about the general concepts i think it's really important to learn about those to get into those because this is how you learn this is how you get to know more about the technology and the world around you and also it gives you a good background to do anything else uh, so starting off i love elon musk i love what he's doing so you really should read the biography of Elon Musk because actually it shows this amazing road of persistence from uh, South African roots to going to the US and making it on your own with a couple of companies like Zip2, uh, then PayPal, uh, and then only getting into Tesla and SpaceX. Uh, he's still doing that currently. He has this amazing, amazing projects. Uh, Cyber, cyber truck included, but also going to Mars, bringing electric vehicles to masses, it's all in it. The second biggest thing is probably a uh, story of Jeff Bezos and building Amazon. So Jeff Bezos right now is the richest person on the planet. It's really amazing how he, how he grew from a small online repository of books and selling those books online to actually everything store. And the book about him is called The Everything Store. It is really the everything store because right now Amazon is not only selling books, videos, uh, any kind of uh, products you can imagine, cosmetics, laptops, but also it got into a couple of other domains. Uh, for example, logistics, it can run a shop for you. Uh, it can do many things for you. For example, in data science, you probably know mostly Amazon because of uh, AWS. Uh, so Amazon Web Services, where actually they provide provide computing power. Uh, they're one of the biggest players in, in terms of computing power. So that's really amazing. There's really many, many things uh, to, say, to be said about Amazon. I probably do a, another video just about them, just as I want to do just a video about Elon Musk, uh, because some of them, their ideas are really great and are worth discuss discussing uh, independently of the whole thing. So th those are the first two books to start. Then uh, I really recommend to you the Bad Blood Blue book. That's about Silicon Valley and the startup Terranos. And what can go wrong if you actually pursue not innovation, but money and fame and you're going and if you're willing to lie along the way. Uh, it's really great to read because it also shows you the Silicon Valley uh, along the way. Similar book, but from the other perspective, more business-wise, uh, it's AI Superpowers by Kai Fu Li. Uh, it's a book about how China compares to Silicon Valley in the States, uh, how AI is used in the US, Europe and China, uh, how those two ecosystems work together, uh, what are the differences, what are the similarities. It's really great to read, uh, many, very, very insightful because of the author who actually uh, was the, the founder for uh, Google in China and was running the, he was the head of Google in China for a couple of years. Uh, he's, he done very interesting stuff also in the VC uh, market. It's really great to read. Uh, so yeah, so a couple of other books I wanted to recommend is the classics uh, Sapiens by Harari and Super Intelligence by Bostrom. Both are talking about technological changes, technology, but from different perspective. Bostrom is more about philosophy and about how we can prepare for the future, what awaits us. And Harari is looking at our past, uh, also with his book Homo Deus, that's another great book of him. Uh, he's looking at how we came to be where we are right now, what our civilization is doing right now, and what's going next. Go what are we going to do next? So that's really great to read. 
Um, those are two books I really recommend to you. Uh, and finally, on the final note, uh, Rocket Billionaires. Uh, so that's a book about uh, rocket industry, space industry. Really fascinating story because there is a saying that it's rocket science and it's there for the reason because actually rocket science is really hard. You have only one try and if you don't get it right, then it all explodes and you lose hundreds of millions of dollars per each, ter per each trial. Uh, in real life, so that's fascinating. That's why it's called Rocket Science, actually. The book Rocket Billionaires by Tim Fernholtz is about both Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos because they're both in the race, but also about the whole American, Soviet Union, Chinese industry, what's going on, how Europe is going into that. Uh, it's really fascinating because you start to acknowledge and start to be amazed by how difficult it is to innovate in the rocket industry and why what Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos is doing is really unique, it's really hard because there were actually many billionaires before them who were trying to innovate in space industry and they all fail, they all lose hundreds of millions of dollars or billions even on trying to do that, on trying to pursue the idea of putting something uh, into the space. It's really amazing that both Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos managed to do something uh, really which puts them far away from others, from the competitors which were there on the market. Really great read. And that's it. This is for this episode. Tell me how you like this book recommendations because I really like making uh, making them because I, I love books, I love reading. Uh, I have many more books to recommend on different subjects, mostly related to startups, technology, data science, artificial intelligence, because that's what I'm reading mostly. Uh, and that's what this channel is about. So I've been making more probably videos about them, but let me know what you would like to see. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.